You're listening to Mark Willis, live from the 50th anniversary of Max in Louisville, Kentucky. Hey, Rob, I just want to welcome you back to the program. It is the last hour. Uh, for me, here on the program, one more hour to go. And again, if you've not been with us a while, I used to be on 2 to 4 East. Now I'm on 2 to 5 Eastern. The programming expanded for me. And uh, that's good news. And that means more news, weather, traffic, information that uh, certainly you're going to be able to use out there. And speaking of more news and information coming up a little bit later on, we have got uh, Grace Sharkey is going to be in. She, of course, is with Freight Waves Radio. So that's going to be coming up a little bit later. This portion of Sirius XM's Road Dog Trucking News is going to be brought to you by Carrier 360 by J.B. Hunt. All right, Eric McGee is on with me now and uh, Vice President of Highway Services for J.B. Hunt. And, uh, man, it's been a month of Sundays. Good to it see has. you again. It's, hey, Mark. Good seeing you again. It's, it's been a while. been a while. Absolutely. Yes, sir. You know, we were just talking about that a little while ago, you know, the fact that we were all COVID locked down, this and that, and golly. Uh, but now we're coming back out. And just to be in the excitement, of being at Mid-America, man, it's it's really great. What do you say? It is fantastic. It's it's. We were talking about it over here. The energy level out here on the floor at our booth is incredible. Getting to see people, getting to be out and talk about the industry and what's going on, and it's just exciting times. And, you know, it, we, we mentioned it earlier. We're making up for lost time right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of ground to go back to. That's over. right. You know, and the thing about that, that's reconnecting with relationships. You know, we've done so many Zoom meetings or Google Meet or Bing this or Bing that, and That's right. you know, just getting out there and handshaking, we can do we can do that again. It is, which makes it really cool. I bet you're connecting with a lot of folks in the industry. It, it is, and you think about Carrier 360. It was completely built on the feedback of our carriers. The carriers are out. Uh, at, at Matt's here. And we have a UX booth over here, Mark, that we're gaining feedback right now. And everything that we hear, we're taking in and we're doing something with. And you can't do that on Zoom quite as effectively no. as you can when you're here with people. So you know, it's, just, just seeing those little that's squares, right. you know, on the computer screen. No, it doesn't work no, the same. No, 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 it doesn't. It does not. Talk about the power of the platform uh, for Carrier 360 from the Carrier perspective, the visibility, the transparency, uh, the accessibility. You Talk bet. About those yeah, you bet. Well, you, you summed it up well there, access, transparency, and visibility. It's all really hinged on trying to create the ease of the job for the carrier. Uh, we want to give the carrier more time to be on the road, turning the wheels, making miles. And so you, uh, if you come into JB Hunt 360, come into Carrier 360, you get access to billions of dollars of business, of freight. Uh, we want it to be easy for the carrier to post their truck, to set favorites, get recommendations, find the load, execute the load, give check calls, uh, and then be able to provide the documentation to get paid fast. And then uh, to be able to bundle that with the next load and be able to create trips and uh, and make the, the job something that allows them to do what they're experts in, which is being on the road and being a professional driver, and allowing the technology to enable that. Yeah, the visibility is so critical here, right? It is. That's got to be one of the most satisfying things is that once somebody's in the system, they're visible. They're That's ready right. to go. Well, and you think about it, Mark, you know, we, we want to build the most efficient transportation network in North America, and you can't do that if you don't know where all the capacity is. So you have to know where the freight is, you know where the capacity is, you put those things together and you solve for it and you, you make a better answer for not only the customer, but you do for the carrier too, and eliminating some of that wasted miles or time that's in the system. Would you give like load recommendations we do, like yes, yes. we do. Yes, we do. Well, you can do it a couple different ways. It may be based on uh, loads that the carrier search for. It may be favorites that they set up or loads that they've had in the past, or maybe based on a current load that they're on and knowing that they're going to a certain de destination to say, "Hey, here's a good next load for you to think about." So there's varying ways there to help the carrier uh, be proactive in planning for the next load. Hey, I would think that every uh, easy check call processes that provide the status updates to brokers and customers are really super critical, aren't they? It, today more than ever. I yeah. mean, you can think about just probably in your own personal shopping. We all shop now, whether it's Walmart, Target, Amazon, sure. you name it. Uh, we all want to know where our product is, when it's going to be there. And if you go to order something, you want to know that if it's going to deliver on Tuesday, it's going to be there on Tuesday, and you can understand where the updates are along the way. That's the way all the shippers want it from the care community now. So 
that they could provide that visibility to their customer, to us, the end consumer. Well, what is the elite status? Explain that. Well, it's it's a status that our carriers can achieve based on cer- certain metrics around being able to provide uh, access to, to to tracking or giving visibility to where they are, service, uh, being committed to the freight that they're on. Uh, But it allows our carriers to get certain perks. And some of those perks, one is being able to get access to freight earlier than the the general carrier community. And that's a a big thing, especially as the ebbs and flows of the market. You know how those go, Mark. Sure. Uh, You know, we've we've been in an environment that's been... uh, uh, freight rich, yes. but you know the market yes. will will go through ebbs and flows, and we'll see uh, in in uh, certain periods of time where having access to that freight earlier is going to me- mean a whole lot. It's going to be a big deal. I, I would think that with Carrier 360, you've got app integrations and strategic alliances. These are critically important partnerships. Explain. You do. Well, you have to meet customers. You have to meet carriers where they are. You know, it's one thing we want everyone to use our app, and we we are taking feedback right now to try to make certain that that we can build that app in a way that is easy to use. But carriers are already connected through ELD providers or other mechanisms of technology, and we want to make it easy for them to be able to provide the information that we need in the easiest fashion and not have to duplicate efforts across different platforms. I would think that the uh, driver feedback, fleet feedback, those that are using this, extremely critical. Right? It is. It, it's, ha- it's what we've built the app from, yeah. 100%. Yep. Uh, I've been a part of a couple of those over the several several years, and the care community is great about getting in and saying, I don't like that here. I don't understand why you have that. Move this over there. Get rid of that. And we listen to all that and make those tweaks. And they're doing that right over there right now, Mark. Oh, no, that's absolutely amazing. You think about how this all works. I mean, you get the feedback from somebody that's in the industry, they want to see this and that, maybe change this or change that. But just being able to do that, that collaborative partnership right. is just an incredible win-win. All across the board, and that makes things better, more efficient for the industry overall, doesn't it? That's exactly right. Well, there's lots of options out there for carriers, uh, lots of great uh, competitors to JB Hunt, but we want to make sure that we're the ones that are listening and that when a carrier wants to go look for something that's easy to use and find access to billions of dollars of freight, Carrier 360 is the one they're going to. All right, as far as record keeping goes, for Carrier 360, what do you guys do there? Well, we have a documents uh, okay. tile on the app that carriers can go into and be able to submit bill of lading or be able to understand uh, what pieces of information might be needed for them to upload to be able to get paid quickly. Uh, so it's just trying to make everything there at the fingertips of the carrier. You know, and the development of the app and the technology that has come to the forefront, you think about just how amazing it is, you know, because years ago, people would have to send in paperwork, they'd have to do this and that, but now you've got everything right in the palm of your hand. It is. Which makes it incredible. And then you think about how all of that stuff is written in the first place, mm-hmm. you know, how it gets to where it is. What a great teamwork there. It is. From the software writers, the developers of the app getting the feedback you know, from the drivers, the driving community, just makes it an incredible collaborative effort across the board. It is. It's it's beyond my level of expertise (laughs) on how it's built. But what I do know, it's built now in a way that can be easily reconfigured. So you want to get that feedback and do something with it fast. You know, you mentioned to it in times past, you might get feedback and it might take a while to be able to put those changes in place. Can't have that today. You have to be fast. You have to be nimble. You have to listen and be able to go into our systems and be able to make those changes and make it visible and live for the care community as quickly as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And that's going to be the name of the game, right? I mean, time is money. And if, uh, I mean, drivers, motor carriers don't want any kind of delay. They don't want hesitation. They want to be able to get in there and get that information and get going from there. Exactly. You know, and I think also, too, the way that uh, you guys have configured this, you know, just the ease of convenience. That's got to be such a super rewarding thing. The ease of convenience, operational efficiency, one click here, one click there. You know. Amen. That's exactly the goal. Again, give the driver more yeah. time to be able to drive, less time doing administrative work, less time searching and henpecking for freight, right. being able to do what they're amazing at doing, which is is delivering safely for uh, us, for you and I, when we order the products that we do. So How do you make it better? How do you make it bigger? Make well, it bigger and better. We do. We just listen. We move fast. <laughs> and uh, and we're nimble and listen to our customers and carriers and, and uh, continue to try to build the best product that's out there. You know, the impactful changes may be made in Carrier 360. 
just amazing. Just really amazing when you think about it. You think about the strategic alliances, the cloud data, that the information is going to be sitting in that, sitting in, in there. It's a new world we're in these days. It, it is. You know, Greg talked earlier about, uh, you, you got a chance to talk to him about our uh, 360 box. Yes. And if you think about that, Mark, what uh, Carrier 360 is doing is really integrating two networks that really were operated separately for decades. That's the drop trailer market and the live market. And now Carrier 360 brings that visibility to the care community together. So you can come in and search for freight of all different equipment types, whether it's drops or lives, and be able to integrate that and build a more efficient network. Where can folks go to find more about this? JBHunt.com. Okay. Come to JBHunt.com or stop by Matt's. Uh, we're going to be here the next three days, and uh, we'd love to shake hands and get feedback and learn what we can do better. What, what, have, what have I missed? What would you like to maybe say in close? Well, uh, don't want to forget about the perks that uh, the carriers can get to through the app, uh, whether it's on fuel or Sirius XM radio, uh, tires, whatever it may be, come in, get signed up, and take advantage of uh, the perks that uh, Carrier 360 offers. Outstanding, sir. Thank you very, Thank very you, much. Mark. Good seeing you again. The program. And again, that's Eric McGee with uh, J.B. Hunt. Let's give him a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He's the Executive Vice President of Highway Services at J.B. Hunt, and he's here at the Mid-America Trucking Show. All you got to do is come on by and see him and, uh, you know, bring questions, bring suggestions, bring ideas. You know, that's why we're here. We want to hear from you in the industry, and we want to be able to go forward. And uh, thank you very much, Eric. Let's do it again. Thank soon. you. You bet, Mark. All right, I'm going to break here for a few minutes. Stay tuned. we got a bunch more.